Anthony Sampiri faces court over alleged sex attack at Kagara Dance Studio. The man who allegedly raped by girl at knife point in a toilet of a Sydney dance studio is also accused of attacking the seven-year-old's mother. The man accused of sexually assaulting a seven-year-old at knife point in a toilet after allegedly choking her into submission is also charged with assaulting the girl's mother. Anthony Sampiri has been charged with assault occasioning actual bodily harm against the girl's mother, who allegedly was slashed in a melee in the Kagara dance hall toilet. It has been leveled that Sampiri allegedly choked the young girl so he could sexually assault her. Further details of the alleged incident emerged as Anthony Peter Sampiri appeared by audio-visual link, his head bowed, in Waverly Local Court. The 54-year-old also allegedly filmed himself committing an act of indecency on the 7-year-old for the purpose of producing child abuse material. Sampiri, dressed in a prison green t-shirt and shorts, refused to look up at the camera during his court appearance. Sampiri appeared by audio-visual link from the Metropolitan Remand and Reception Center at Silverwater Correctional Complex in Western Sydney. His barrister Ken Buckman said Sampiri did not want to appear on the screen, but Magistrate Lisa Stapleton required him to do so. Even when Miss Stapleton twice addressed him directly, asking him if he could hear her, he answered a brief yes, but his eyes remained downcast avoiding looking into the court. Sampiri is charged with 11 alleged offenses including sexual intercourse with a child under 10, aggravated kidnapping, used child under 14 to make child abuse material, and two counts of wounding or grievous bodily harm with intent. Sampiri entered no plea. Police allege that the offenses happened between 7.30 p.m. and 7.45 p.m. on November 15th at the dance studio in Kagara, in Sydney's south. The court heard that Sampiri had consented to an application for a forensic procedure which had been made the day after the alleged assault. Police allege Sampiri physically and sexually assaulted the girl in an upstairs toilet inside the arena building where she was taking a dance lesson. It is alleged he locked the child in a cubicle and held her at knife point, sexually assaulting her and filming her. Police allege Sampiri filmed part of the alleged attack on a mobile phone and that he allegedly choked the girl to render the girl incapable of resistance done to enable him committing an indictable offense. Sexual assault. Police say that when two other men, the father of another dance student Nicola Gilio and local dentist Jeffrey Stack intervened, a struggle ensued. It is further alleged that Sampiri then stabbed a 45-year-old Mr. Gilio in the abdomen and the neck. Sampiri is charged with wounding Mr. Gilio with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. Sampiri was taken into custody immediately after the alleged assault, but was treated in hospital for reportedly advanced liver cancer. Around 4 p.m. on Sunday, after he was deemed fit by doctors, police took Sampiri from hospital to Marlborough Police Station in handcuffs. Detectives from the Child Abuse and Sex Crimes Squad under Strike Force Burley had formally arrested and charged Sampiri. Sampiri is also charged with choke person intent commit indictable offense, attempting or assaulting with intent to have sexual intercourse with a child under 10. Aggravated act of indecency being filmed, aggravated indecent assault and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. NSW Police Commissioner Mick Fuller has indicated police would seek a life sentence if Sampiri is convicted. Sampiri will appear again in court in January.